welcome back so in today's video so my previous video was your typical spring slash summer makeup look so what i wanted to do is kind of this i had the same concept for this video but i'm gonna make it gothic so i usually never change the color of my foundation but beeps made a good point you know he's full-on gothic and he's hella okay hella pale compared to me um but he did say that he's been wanting me to do a white um base type of look so i bought some total control like white drops so i can make my foundation lighter hopefully they work but yeah let's go ahead i don't know what foundation combo i want to do but i don't know so look at my little mug isn't it cute i love it so good mm. if you want to know how i make my coffee you should definitely follow me on instagram because i did make a tiktok on how to make my coffee and you know what while you're at it follow me on tiktok too <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and put my hair back. I try to do a different hairstyle, but it's hard when you have rhinestones on your fake nails because everything gets stuck. Let's put some primer on first and then we'll go ahead and set my base. I'm just using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer as per usual. Ooh, ooh that was too much. Oh, I got this little blemish, dude. Best believe we're covering them up today. I did, um, I did this full-on skincare routine yesterday. I mean, I went ham. I, you know, I had done my makeup for work, and uh, I left it on. I ended up falling asleep while watching Penny Dreadful with Beebs. I don't remember falling asleep. And I woke up around 1.30 in the morning. And I had this burst of energy, so I made some homemade limeade, which is my favorite. I hate lemonade with actual, like, yellow lemons. I like the limes. So, I don't know if that's called Mexican lemonade or just limeade. I don't know. I'm calling it limeade. <laughs> so, I made some of that, and I made some... I didn't have enough, because um, we have, like, this glass jar... It has like this little nozzle that you just turn on and the liquid comes out. So I made the lime bead in there, but I didn't have enough limes for the amount of water that I had in there. So I had to put half of the water in that jug in a pitcher and I made um, cucumber water with that. So, and then I took off my makeup. I was listening to some jams, throwing it back to the oldies. I have a huge, I, I'm gonna link my throwback playlist. It's everywhere. I have like old throwback music from like different genres. Oh, this hurts. Oh, but then uh, once I took my makeup off, did my full skincare routine, put a mask on, I ended up falling asleep again. I woke up today at 8.30 with my mask still on, guys. It was on for hours. Oh, but, and I had another blemish here. It shrunk. It's basically, you can't even tell. It just looks like a teeny tiny little mole. But this one got smaller, but he's still thriving because he hurts like hell. Oh, but how are you all doing? What have you all been up to? Do you all have anything planned for the summer? I know we have stuff planned for next month. This coming weekend. Not this coming weekend um this next weekend which will be the 10th i don't know when this video is gonna go up so uh april 10th we're gonna go to san antonio and celebrate my tia's birthday and then we have a trip to go see to houston to go see Beebs' family i'm super excited for that oh, oh it hurts oh. so i i've officially decided I'm going to get my crunch, which is that cuff like that goes through all that cartilage. It's like right here. 
And then I'm gonna re-pierce this piercing because I have a little bump back there, but it'll go away if I put tea tree oil on it. So I'm gonna do that because I really miss the second piercing. It just brought this whole ear. It looks so pretty, blinged out. And then I got a blowout, which is not fun. It was extremely painful. Oh my God. And then it just, the bump got smaller over time, but it's still there, chilling. And I'm not appreciating that. So, okay, so we have the um, Beauty Bakery flour powder that we're gonna use. That's gonna be like my powder that I use to, hmm, that I use to set my entire face before I do foundation. Taking my powder puff. Do we, can we wash these? Like, do we wash them like we wash our brush, makeup brushes, or do we, are these like machine washable? I don't know, but I wanna wash it. I haven't used it that long, so that's why it's not, it's not that bad. But still, it's gross. So I've noticed if I put this where my eye, I mean eyes, on my nose, my makeup breaks up big time. So what I do is I only put it right here. I don't put it on the sides like I was doing before. My damn skin. Why can't it just be normal? Skin? Oh my god! So, I watched this documentary. Do, documentary. Documentary. Yeah, I always say that wrong or struggle to say it correctly. But it was on Demi Lovato's heroin overdose. <gasps> it's called Dancing with the Devil. Oh my god! I cried like if she was my sister, and like if it was happening to my little brother. I cried like such a baby because um, she was going through so much and no one knew. Like everyone knew that she was going through a lot, but I guess no one knew how bad it was. And I mean, when they found her, she was blue. Like she had, I think she said that she had three strokes and one heart attack and she can't drive because of her strokes. But when she woke up in the hospital, she was legally blind. They brought her vision back, but now she has blind spots. Like she could be pouring a, a glass of water and she'll miss the, you know, the, the glass completely because of her blind spot. And I'm like, wow, that is crazy. And now she's doing really good, but you know, she's getting the help and everything. But I, oh, I hope this was an eye opener for her to stop. And an eye opener for everyone else to keep a good eye on her, but not to like suffocate her, but to keep an eye on her. Because people have any hope. But oh, she's gone through so much and my heart goes out to her, her family, her friends, her team, everyone. If you haven't seen it, it's free on YouTube. Just put Demi Lovato dancing with the devil. Even if you put Demi Lovato, it'll come up. I'm gonna go in with two. This is the... Uh, Black Radiance, so wow. This is the Black Radiance um, Matte Setting Spray, and then this is the Skin & Co Radiant Dew Triple Therapy Spray. So we're gonna go in with the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Foundation in the shade 60. So I'm gonna color correct that sucker because it's... I hate getting pimples. So much. Where's my thingy? Oh. So this is a concealer brush that I've had for years back when I wasn't cruelty free. And the reason I say that's because it's a MAC brush. It's the MAC 287 brush, but I bought it when I wasn't cruelty free. So don't hate me. Uh, and I'm going in with the NYX Dark Circle Color Corrector in the shade Medium. It just looks like this. So the trick to covering a blemish is go really blending the outside, like blending it this, blending it like this, and keeping and just tapping the center of the blemish or the top of the blemish. You don't, you really want to blend the surrounding part of it, like this, like what I'm doing. So it blends in with your face. You just want to tap, tap on the actual blemish. You know what song I have stuck in my head? No diggity. 
I like the way you work it. No diggity. Gotta bag it up. Mm. I like the way you work it. Ooh. Each and every side. Each and every side. Keep getting on my phone. Think about the girl all the time. When you're out. <laughs> okay, so enough of that. I'm probably making their ears bleed. <laughs> this is my favorite. Literally my favorite favorite foundation i love it so much and this one this looks like it's too liquidy it looks like freaking milk i don't even know if it's gonna work i know beeps has the manic panic white mixing medium fluid stuff um but i bought this one at target that didn't do anything <laughs> it's still beige oh man i didn't do anything no worries. <laughs> I'm gonna like just skip on my nose for right now. That way I can get a little brush, which I don't know what the hell my little brush is. That I use for, I guess I could use a concealer brush, right? But I had a specific brush for this and I can't, I don't know where it is. So we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in the shade Fair Warm, but this is way too light for me, so I mix it in with Light Beige, the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer and Light Beige. This stuff, ooh, it is so full coverage. It's actually what I'm gonna, so I actually have one from under my eyes, which is that one, and then I go in with Neutral Beige, or Natural, Natural Beige, cover him up. There we go. That's the coverage I wanted. I actually wanted to get a really light one in this one, and I thought this one was gonna be super light because it looked light on mine. It wasn't. I'm just gonna blend the two. This is how light I wanted my concealer. But it did not happen that way. See the difference? Love it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face, and I'm gonna use the flower powder and the other powder that I use from, ooh, what's it called for Makeup Revolution? The Banana Light Powder. I'm gonna use a towel to like cover me since I'm wearing black. So I'm excited because April is officially my birth month. I'm excited. I'm turning 25. And, uh, oh my god, I'm so excited to be in my mid 20s I mean, I guess you can say I'm in my mid-20s because I'm 24. But I feel like so many people my age are like, oh my god, I'm turning 25. Like, that's where everything just goes downhill. And I'm like, and why is that a bad thing? Like, the way I see aging, like, you should be great. You should want to get older. Because that means you're going to have more experiences. You're going to have the opportunity to accomplish a lot more. You know? Um, ooh. Poor as who? We don't know her. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I'm like so excited. Because there's so many things that I need to, that I want to work on. I'm just waiting to get more money. Because <laughs> everything is hella pricey. But I'm just so excited. Like, the older I get, the more stuff. Like, Beebs and I have so many things planned in the next couple of years that, like, our kids are going to be set, you know? And I just, I don't see the fear of getting older. I really don't. Like, I don't get it. Why are you, why are you scared? <laughs> okay, so our face is set for the gods. It is beat. As the drags, the drag queens love to say it, they are beat to the gods. <laughs> drag queens are, I fucking love them. They're so funny. And they're so sassy and they're just like mm, in your face. Like they can do some makeup. Have you seen the spooky drag queens? Okay, have you seen, quick coffee break. Mm. Have you seen um, drag, Dragula with the Brulee Brothers? Oh. Some 
of those drag queens. I, what was her name? There was two of them that stood out to me. And they just like, they made me look like a beginner at makeup. They made me look like I was shitty at blending. Like, ooh, it was just bomb. Their makeup skills, chef's kiss. I'm gonna go back in with that Black Radiance um, Matte Setting Spray. I'm gonna mix two bronze. Well, this one's actually a blush, but I'm gonna use it as a contour. And this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in the shade So Taupe. So, this is what it looks like. It's super cool toned. Super cool toned. So, I'm gonna use this to contour just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in with my regular blush and bronzer duo, you know, um, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, and the same blush as the contour, but in totally chill. You guys know that these are my dynamic duos when it comes down to blush and um, bronzer. Isn't it crazy that I wasn't a blush girl? Like if you go to my previous videos, like my older videos, I've even said it, like I'm not a blush girl. Like maybe, like I would always say like maybe in the future I can give it a try, but I'm not. And I'm just like, you are you have changed let me tell you you really want to tap off the excess on this one stuck in your cheeks so there's this purse and wallet that i want that i've been wanting and i've had them on my the wallet i got i found it on amazon and the purse i found it on etsy so this purse is black but it's like a faded black and it has a death moth on um on the top of it and it opens like this so it's like this big and it looks so good like i love death moths they're my favorite insects you know you have people who love butterflies and bees i love death moths and it's so beautiful and i think it has like a little moon on there too like the upside down moons so beautiful should be enough because i don't want it to look ashy because this is for really pale people so like beebs if you're a pale princess use this as a contour i know what i'm telling you but i sent oh and the going back to the purse and the wallet and the wallet is uh it's all black and it's a little coffin it's so cute it's like this big like this big and you just fit, you know, you could fit some cash in there if you like roll it up or like fold it up. But it's mainly for your cards, your ID and all that stuff. And um, it has imprints of skulls and bats and I don't know what else. And but it's so cute. And they're both fairly affordable. But since my birthday's coming up on the 21st, I don't know what to do. I kind of like, I'm gonna do a... I want to film a video because my birthday falls on a Wednesday. So I want to film a video two week. I want to film a video the weekend before. Or maybe, no, I'm not going to be able to. Two weekends before. So I'll probably film two that specific weekend. That way I can show you all my birthday makeup. Oh, what I plan to wear for my birthday and the type of makeup I plan to wear. Cause I'm excited. It's gonna be pastel, like a pastel goth type of thing. Cause when I show y'all, you're gonna see in that video. But when I show y'all that blouse I'm wearing, mmm, you're gonna see. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. You take this big fluffy brush from Equal Tools. Just, I just use this for blending. Ooh, this nose contour snatched. It is snatched. It looks so good. Looks like I can't breathe. Put some down here because that double chin is hanging on for dear life. She doesn't want to go away. But anyways, I keep forgetting. <laughs> wow, I keep forgetting. So I was texting my little brother today and because Easter's tomorrow, but I, I completely forgot that Easter was tomorrow. So I, I messaged him, I keep forgetting. I keep losing my train of thought, I'm so sorry. 
but this is literally how I am in real life. So you're just getting a taste of it through this video. <laughs> but okay, so now we're gonna go on with everything else. So I text him a picture of that purse and that wallet because I know he know I know that he doesn't know what to get me. Because he never knows what to get my mom for or her birthday or Mother's Day. He never knows what to get me or our dad for our birthdays and Father's Day and stuff. He's always like, I don't know what to get. Like, but I text this, I text them both and I was like, you wanna get your sissy <laughs> this for her birthday? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, yes. I'm excited. Bronze thy forehead. My forehead isn't that big. It's just a little bumpy, just a little bit like up here. But it's not that big. At least I don't think it is. But whatever. If it is big, it's because I have a lot of information in there. Hmm. Whatever. My memory's like. <laughs> so me and Bees were talking, and we were watching Penny Dreadful. Which, if you love the dark, the spooky, the creepy, and borderline disturbing. Uh, you should watch Penny Dreadful. It is about witches, werewolves, vampires. It's about every, all that shit. I love that. I love that show. We're in the last season, which makes me very sad. But the f last season has Apache Indian. And it talks about, it's not talking about the tribe, but it has certain like Apache like m tribe members. And I was like, oh my God, like I actually did a presentation and a research project on that tribe. And he's like, when? And I'm like, when I was in seventh grade with my, um, and I said my teacher's name and everything. And he was like, your memory is, is astonishing. And I'm like, why? And he's like, it's like Swiss cheese. And I started laughing because it's true. It really is. Like I can remember certain things that happened when I was in elementary. But you could tell me something right now, and there's a possibility that in a couple of minutes, I'm going to forget about it. Like, oh, I frustrate him sometimes. <laughs> but I'm just like, I frustrate myself. Like, I'll go to the store, and if what he tells me to buy for him isn't on the list, I'll completely forget about it. Even though he told me when I got to the store, I'll still forget about it. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. <gasps> Oh, I wasn't supposed to put this bronzer. It just dawned on me what I wanted to do. We'll make it work. Now we're gonna go in with some blush. Totally chill. Yeah. I know I put a lot of blush, but it's because I'm gonna bake right now and like more than half of it's gonna be gone. I wanna do a video with beads, but I've asked my friends and they're like, do a Q&A of how you all met and everything. And But he doesn't wanna do that because it's too cute. I'm like, I don't know if I've told y'all the story of how we met. Have I? I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll go ahead and come back and we can start on the eyes. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this eyebrow came out beautiful. This one, this, we're, we're not even gonna think about it. I'm not gonna look at it. We're not even gonna acknowledge it. It was giving me a hard time. So I wanna do a very pastel goth look. So let's see. I don't have a lot of pastel colors, let's be real. When do you ever see me wear pastel colors? Never. Mm. I wanna do like purple and blue. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like reach into several palettes, but I'm gonna show you as I go into those palettes. So the first palette is the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. I'm not even gonna talk about the packaging because it's sickening. And we're gonna go in with the shade Filter. So it's this one right here, this beautiful blue. And we're not gonna go in with any beige shades. No, we are just gonna go in with this blue. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I was talking about how Beads and I met, right? So I don't know if I've talked about it, so how we met, um, we met at my old job. We had already been there for a little bit. I hadn't, I was very, I was a new hire. And okay, so pause. I'm only taking the blue to like the middle of my eyelid because then we're gonna go in with the purple. 
continuing on. So I was a new hire and I walk in and as soon as I walk into the room, he catches my eye and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> and I'm just like, you sir are very handsome, very attractive. And he was like full on goth, like eyeliner, you know, um, he had just painted his nails black. You know, his hair was, you know, I don't know. I don't know if he was wearing a spiky hair, but he, he looked good. And I was just like, wow. So I was feeling a little ball. I don't know what possessed me because I'm not this ballsy when I like somebody. But there were so many tables. Like there were rows on the sides of the walls where they had chairs for all the new hires and the people who were moving to the project that I worked with. And then there were tables and he was sitting on one of the tables talking to one of his friends. Out of all the tables, all of the chairs in, the, in front of the wall, they were all taken. But out of all the tables, I went and sat on his in front of him. I was like, Boop. and I smiled and I was like, Boop. and as I smiled, this girl that was sitting on the table over there, she was, I think she was like the supervisor or something. I don't know who she was, but. Oh, this eye keeps watering. Um, she was like, oh my God, I love your makeup. And I was like, thank you. And she was like, what palette is that? We were talking about my makeup and what I was using and all this stuff. And he just looked at me like, okay. And then he, he just goes back to talking to his friend. And when we started talking, he was like, I'm not gonna lie. I thought you were weird as fuck. And I was like, well, okay then. He said that he was so used to people being scared of how he dressed. There was people that wouldn't even look at him in the eyes because he would wear contacts to work, like the red contacts, and it would just freak people out. And I was like, oh, they're such baby wonkas. <laughs> I was like, they're such babies, like, come on. I'm sorry, but that doesn't freak me out. It never has. Um, but I guess it freaked those people out. Cause they couldn't even look at him in the eye, which is that's rude as fuck, but whatever. Um, but so he was so used to that. So when I sat in front of him, he was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> but I genuinely thought he was attractive and I still do. That's why he's my boo. <laughs> uh, I love that man so much. It consumes me, but yeah, that's how we met told me he's like if it's a question in one of your videos like i will say it i thought you were weird as fuck and i'm like i'm sure my viewers will appreciate your honesty it's okay though i'm his little weirdo but anyway so we went in with the blue it didn't i actually thought it was gonna take me a little bit longer to, to blend it out but it didn't so now i'm gonna go in with the jeffree star blood sugar palette and i'm gonna take the shade root canal and mix it with glucose so glucose is this one root canal is this one the purple pulls a pink i don't know why but it does so i'm gonna mix it with the white to get that really like lavender color i love doing that <laughs> i love like when girls have like really long nails and they're doing a video and they're doing this and you just hear the nails like Doing that, I love that. We love that. Let's see if this works. Ooh, it did. Cool. Yes, it did. Oh, okay. Go back in with the root canal. Oh, ooh, too much. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Just blend the two with a fluffy blending brush. Oh, that looks so pretty. And I feel like I've done this before, but darker. But there is gonna be a twist to this. It's not gonna be like my galaxy makeup tutorial. I am gonna make this different, I promise. I don't know why every time I think of pastels, I think of these two colors. I'm gonna go in with another brush and I'm gonna take that same purple shade and the white. Ooh. I'm loving how this is looking. I have to put some of it on my nose. That's just me being extra. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of this. Oh, this is not looking as good as I thought it would. Blue, the blue, I mean, but we can fix that. 
So I'm gonna stop adding the blue because I don't like how it's looking. I'm gonna go back in and just cover that up with the purple. But I have this highlighter that my friend Lily gave me. If you're watching, boo, I love you for this. Look at this. It, this is by Cover FX and this is their glitter drops in the shade. Where's the shade name? Oh, well, there's only one shade of this, so just go and buy that shade. <laughs> we wiped off all the bake. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with these drops. It removed the product. Oh, okay, no. So it's removing the product. Are these even good? I've used them before and they never did this. I have to go back in. Huh? Why is it doing that? This is not going as planned. Not at all. Mm. I'm so mad at these drops. Oh, they're supposed to look pretty in blue. I'm going with a more affordable palette than these two. <laughs> this is the Revolution Patricia Bright Shadow Palette. Um, I don't know who Patricia Bright is, but she came up with several shadow palettes. And this one's in Rich in Life. And it's honestly my favorite one huge mirror and it folds back which I love we're gonna go in with diamonds for breakfast we're gonna place that all over our lid and then we're gonna go in with the, the liquid shadow in diamond I'm going to go queen not diamonds <laughs> it's just the elf uh, liquid shadows these are so famous on my channel. I use them. They're so affordable. And I feel like I, ha I have most of the colors. I don't have all of them because um, I just don't feel the need to have all of them. But oh, this one, I just, I knew I had to have. Like, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I want to take our fan. There's my fan. I'm just that this out okay, so now we're gonna go oh, why did i take that out we're gonna go back in with this palette and we're going to use the black in the shade star girl we're not going to do any black on the outer corner like we usually do but i'm using black because i want a wing some liquid liner oh actually no let's tight liner upper lash line first which is black liner I just fucked up my look so I'm trying to do bat wings I had done them good the first time but I don't know why ever since then I haven't been able to do them again. Ooh, I have this too. Oh, we can, we're using this. I could put a little bit of this glitter here in the middle. Ooh, that's gonna look so pretty. This is the Profusion Cosmetics Bling It On Glitter Liner in the shade Precious Opal. This is what it looks like. So pretty. Ooh, that just gives like an iridescent look. So now I'm going with some mascara. Now I want to put some like little stars with the white <laughs> liner. Let's put my highlighter first. That's be smart. I'm gonna go in with the be my new um, be my highlight highlighter. I kind of want to put like stars all here. Now this is like extremely extra, but. Now you really can't see that my highlight took off 
what was underneath. I love this. So we're gonna go ahead and do our waterline. Waterline. Check. Going with the Lash Princess Mascara Falsh Last of we're gonna go in. wow okay i'm all over the place right now we're gonna go in with the lash princess false lash effect mascara there we go <laughs> so the, these dry i'm gonna go ahead and show you all what lashes i'm gonna use i'm gonna use lashes um on my bottom lash line as well so i have my little scissors so i'm gonna cut up cut some up um, but for the top ones, I'm going to go with the Eyelore London Luxe Silk Lashes. But this is what they look like. Have you seen a more dramatic, beautiful lash? I think not. I'm gonna, just going to use some old lashes. These aren't old, actually, but I don't... I threw my other old ones away, so I usually use my old ones as my bottom lashes because I cut them up. Ooh. Look at this, look. The difference, bitch. And here. Mm. I did that. I did this. Yes. Yes. I'm so... <gasps> oh, okay. Ooh, poke my eye. No! My eyes are just stop watering. I'm going to black lipstick. If you liked and enjoyed this video and enjoyed my pastel goth masterpiece, <laughs> be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and join my ghoul gang if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!